Dominic Soboslai has become one of the best midfielders in the world with Liverpool Football Club and for Hungary. In fact, I'd even say he's well on his way to becoming the true heir of Steven Gerrard for the Reds if he isn't already. However, how does Soboslai get to this point of stardom where he's become one of the most valuable players in the world? Well, let's take a look at the rise of Dominic Soboslai. Soboslai was born on October 25, 2000 in Szekesfehervar, Hungary. From an early age, Soboslai was destined to become a footballer since the sport was rooted deep in his DNA. Dominic's father, Zsolt Soboslai, was a former professional footballer who played in the top tier of Hungarian football. So of course he wanted his son to become a footballer as well. Just like my future son as well, bro. He got no choice. First session, yeah? Project Mbappe. Anyways, Dominic even said that he started to kick a ball around when he learned how to walk. And he also started going to play on the pitch when he was 3 years old with his dad. Then in 2007, the father Jolt Soboslai founded the youth academy called Phoenix Gold in 2007. And obviously, Soboslai was selected to play for that youth academy at just 6 years old. At this academy, it is where Soboslai started to develop his skill and technical ability. And one of the key people who helped him is his father, who made Soboslai practice with these weird training methods. One of them would be holding a golf ball in each hand while playing, just so you couldn't give cheap fouls away and grab the opposing player's shirt and instead you were forced to win the ball cleanly. Another drill was having different colored headbands instead of bibs just so players have to look up completely to see where their teammates are. All of this and more helped Soboslai become the player who he is today. At around this time, the young Dominic Soboslai realized that he wasn't having a normal childhood like his school friends were. They were going to parties, having fun, etc. While all Soboslai did was school and football. One time, he told his father that he wanted to enjoy himself as well but his father told him that you can enjoy all that stuff later in life and not right now. Dominic hesitantly obliged, but to be honest, in hindsight, Soboslai's father was cooking. I can see it, I feel it, I can, I can, he's cooking. Eventually, as Soboslai grew older, European scouts were starting to take notice of his talent when Phoenix Gold were playing a U tournament. Since they were invited into some prestigious competitions where they had to play against the likes of FC Basel, Bayern Munich, etc. Eventually, at 16 years old, Dominic Soboslai would catch the eye of the Red Bull system, and after a successful trial at Salzburg, they let him join their academy on a permanent basis. Right away, though, Soboslai was sent down to RB Salzburg's feeder club, FC Liefering, in the second division of Austria to play his football. Initially, Soboslai was struggling to adapt to the harsher training climate and routine. But with Dominic having an extremely high confidence, he bounced back from that in no time. And thanks to extra training by himself and also being football obsessed, by the end of his first season of professional football, the gifted Hungarian Scarlet scored 16 times and got 11 assists in 46 games for FC Liefering. Having a high self-esteem definitely helps in a sport as cutthroat as football, and Soboslai's confidence in himself is unmatched. Not only did this confidence help him in his club career, but also for his national team. The Hungary under-17s were desperate to qualify for the under-17 Euros, but they needed to beat Norway. It was a draw until the very last minute because Soboslai hit the ball from outside the box straight into the top corner and won the game for Hungary, helping them qualify for the under 17 Euros for the first time in 10 years. Soboslai scoring last minute winners for his country to qualify for the Euros is something that all of us know too well, since he scored the last minute goal against Iceland to qualify Hungary into the 2020 Euros a few years ago. But I'm getting a little too ahead of myself, so let me slow down. As you can see though, confidence is a huge part of Dominic Soboslai's game, and I'm sure one of the reasons for his high confidence is him looking good on the pitch. Since you know, look good, play good, especially his beer because I can tell that's well taken care of. And that takes me to the sponsor of today's video, Harry's. Harry's is a company that manufactures and sells shaving equipment and also personal care products for men, either online or now in retail stores. Now I decided to go to Costco to cop myself this great product, but you can go to places like Target, Walmart, Sam's Club, and grocery and drug stores to find yourself this product as well. Now talking about the Harry's razor itself, it works great and it fits into my routine amazingly. It works way better than the plastic razors I've always used and with this new Harry's Chrome razor, it comes with 5 different German blades and with its lubricating strip, shaving becomes a much more smooth process since it doesn't hurt my face anymore. Plus, with its precise trimming ability, switching to Harry's for shaving and looking good, like Soboslai, is something I definitely do not regret, especially when I'm on camera a lot talking about football. I always gotta make sure I'm looking sharp for that, just like Soboslai does when he gets on the pitch. So if you wanna get Harry's yourself, whenever you go into shops that you already probably shop at, like Walmart, Target, Costco, etc., get yourself a Harry's product, since there's no need to make a special trip to go to the middle of nowhere to cop your shaving essentials. And wherever you are, Harry's is there too. Anyways, let me know down in the comments which Harry's product you guys caught for yourselves. And thank you Harry's for sponsoring this video. And now, let's get back to Dominic Soboslai. Now with Soboslai back with RB Salzburg from his loan for the 18-19 season, Soboslai was emerging as Hungary's biggest football talent in decades. He got his senior international debut coming off the bench versus Croatia, where he seemed to boss the midfielder Rakitic, Modric, and Brozovic. From here on, Soboslai was making magazine covers, advertisements, etc. 
and Hungary now had a super talent that they can place their hopes on. Not only that though, football fans, especially Hungarian fans, could see Soboslai was the real deal at Salzburg itself, where he was slowly integrating himself as a starter on the first team and being an impactful player for them in the 1890 campaign. However, the 1920 campaign is when Soboslai really started to become a key player for Salzburg though, and in the 40 appearances he made in that season, he managed to get a total of 12 goals and 18 assists across all competitions, including a hat-trick in the 5-1 destruction of Sturm Graz in the Austrian Bundesliga. This would lead Dominic to win the Austrian Bundesliga Player of the Year. Soboslai would then continue to play for Salzburg until December 2020, and in the 22 games he took a part in in this campaign, he got 9 goals and 10 assists. However, in January 2021, Soboslai signed for another Red Bull club, RB Leipzig, for a reported price of around 20 million euros, becoming the most expensive Hungarian player in history. Sadly though, Soboslai did not feature for RB Leipzig in the 2021 campaign, and this was due to the fact that he was suffering from a long-term groin injury, and this injury would also keep him out of the 2020 Euros, the same tournament where Dominic played a huge role for Hungary to help them qualify. But once Soboslai got fit for the 21-22 campaign for RB Leipzig, he didn't look back and excelled for his new German team. In his first season for RB Leipzig, he got himself 10 goals and 9 assists in 45 games, and within these stats include some memorable moments for Soboslai, like making his Leipzig debut against FC Sandhausen and scoring 3 minutes after coming on, scoring his first 2 goals in the Bundesliga in a 4-0 win over Stuttgart, scoring the only goal in the game against rivals Bayer Leverkusen, and even playing a part in Leipzig winning their first ever DFB Polka Cup against Freiburg on penalties. After this, the 22-23 season would be even better for Dominic Soboslai. In the 46 games he took a part in, he scored 10 goals and got 13 assists. And within these stats, he had some even more memorable moments in the season, like scoring his first goal of the campaign against rivals Borussia Dortmund in the 3-0 win, scoring a brace against Stuttgart in the 2-1 win, and scoring the third goal in a surprising victory over Bayern Munich away from home on the 33rd match day, where Soboslai pretty much guaranteed Borussia Dortmund the Bundesliga title, only for them to somehow f*** it up completely and choke in the very last game of the season. To this day, I'm still not sure how Borussia Dortmund managed to screw this up, but we move. Additionally, Soboslai played a huge role in helping RB Leipzig win back-to-back DFB Pokal Cups, with him actually scoring the second goal against Eintracht Frankfurt to help Leipzig win 2-0 in the final. What a great parting gift. And that's right, you heard me correct, parting gift. That's because over the summer, there was a ton of interest in signing Dominic Soboslai, who seemed like one of the future best midfielders in the world. I mean, when you have stats like these in the last Bundesliga campaign, like being in the 94th percentile for passes completed, 95th percentile for total passing distance, 92nd percentile for progressive passing distance, one of the highest turnover rates forced for a midfielder, and the cherry on top, with him having one of the best passing ranges in Europe, alongside Kevin De Bruyne stats-wise, big European clubs are bound to be noticing. However, despite Subaslai having a release clause of 70 million euros, not many clubs were buying on the chance until the very last day, and that's where Liverpool came in. It was revealed that Jordan Henderson was leaving the club, and Klopp and Liverpool needed a player who was basically the younger and upgraded version of him, which is Dominic Soboslai. So on July 2nd, 2023, Liverpool triggered that 70 million euro release clause and Soboslai became the third ever Hungarian footballer for the Reds. Real quick before we get on with Soboslai's time with the Reds, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and it means a lot, so thank you. And also, if you guys can, follow my Twitter and my Instagram, both at Nabuto, if you just want to hear my thoughts on football games, transfers, and overall, just to get to know me more. So if you want to, feel free to hit me up with that follow. Thank you. Back to topic, Soboslai immediately got into the starting 11 for Liverpool in the 23-24 campaign. In the game against Bournemouth, Soboslai played so well that he was named player of the match. Then in early September, Soboslai scored his first goal for Liverpool in a 3-0 win over Aston Villa. And wow, what a screamer that was, huh? It was with his weak foot, which makes it even crazier too. This also then made Soboslai the first Hungarian to score for Liverpool ever, and he was also voted player of the match again for this performance. And then in September, he was rewarded with Liverpool's player of the month. After that, he scored in a 2-0 win away from home against Sheffield, scored another rocket against Leicester in the Carabao Cup, which straight up gave me Steven Gerrard vibes, which is why Soboslai is often referred to as the true heir of Steven Gerrard, got another great goal against West Ham in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals as well, and then against Chelsea most recently in the Premier League in the 4-1 victory at Anfield, he scored his first header goal in his career. However, recently, Soboslai has been battling some injury issues, and with that, he's only managed to play 28 games so far, scoring 5 times and getting 4 assists. Now I know what you might be thinking, how can someone with stats like this become a superstar for Liverpool? First of all, these stats are pretty good for a right center midfielder, and second of all, Soboslai is doing more than just being directly involved in goals. When Soboslai is fit and in games, he's actually the player who's created the most chances for Liverpool in the Premier League. In correlation with this, he's in the 88th percentile for expected assists, 91st percentile in shot creating actions, 80th percentile for passes attempted, completing 76% of them, and when you're making risky passes like Soboslai does, your passes completed isn't going to be over 90%, that's obvious, 84th percentile for progressive passes, 90th percentile for progressive carries, 74th percentile for passes into the penalty area, 88th percentile on crosses into the penalty area, and 91st percentile for progressive passes recorded. If 
If you guys are getting confused by what I'm trying to say, it means that Soboslai is doing a very good job at bringing the ball forward and delivering it into the final third for his teammates, aka helping creating chances. Not only that, Soboslai is doing a great job at creating chances for himself, with them taking a lot of shot creating actions and also being in the 81st percentile for shots on target. Also, Soboslai's defensive work rate off the ball for a midfielder is a tremendous reason why it's incredibly hard to break down Liverpool this year when he's playing. Because not only does he love to get physical, pause, and get into ground duels, but he often wins them as well. With him being in the 71st percentile for dribbles tackled, 74th percentile for tackles in the attacking third, 81st percentile for blocks, and 91st percentile for passes blocked. Overall, Soboslai is always dominating the right hand side of the midfield for Liverpool, and he does a great job at freeing up space for Mo Salah and Trent Alexander-Arnold to attack, while also him being a threat as well, with him having a very high take on success rate. Not only that, Soboslai has great leadership capabilities, which is crucial for any team, because after all, he became Hungary's captain at just 22 years old, and he even played a huge role in Hungary qualifying for the 2024 Euros, with him actually scoring the two goals against Montenegro and the 3-1 victory to send Hungary through. All in all, Soboslai is the absolute complete package, and when his injury issues subside, Soboslai will be one of the best midfielders Liverpool has ever seen at the club, and I predict that he'll be around Steven Jarr's level eventually by the time he leaves the club, whenever that is. And also, I'm sure he'll end his career by being one of Hungary's best ever players for sure. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, I really appreciate it, and if you enjoyed this one, please remember to subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate it. Also, please be sure to follow my Twitter and my Instagram, the links are in my YouTube description. And last but not least, if you want to relive the entertaining AFCON knockout stages and want to watch a review on it, you definitely want to check out this video right here, you won't regret it.